hello out there welcome to this tutorial on permutation and combination in this video we'll be looking at conditional permutation this is part one of this video so we start with the problem in how many ways can the letters of the word bell be permuted if a there is no restriction b the two l's must always be together and c the two l's must always be apart the method we are going to use to solve this problem is applicable to most of other problems like in the case of schools where the two O's must always be together and similar words like bell, school and we can even say hell. So we start with the first part of the problem. If there is no restriction, this is a case of permutation of indistinguishable objects. So that we now have our n to be 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and there are two L's, and the other letters are 1, 1. So that the permutations will be 4 factorial over 2 factorial. This is going to give us 4 times 3 times 2 factorial over 2 factorial, where 2 factorial goes with these 2 factorial. We are left with 4 times 3, which gives... 12 ways of permuting the letters of the word bell without any restriction so for b we have the two l's must always be together so in this case we have the bell then the two l's must always be together if they must always be together we are going to have only three letters at that point because this will always be taken as one so that makes our n to be equal to 3. So from here, the permutations will be 3 factorial. And 3 factorial is 6. So we have 6 ways of permitting the letters of the word bell such that the two L's must always be together. Then we go to C part of the problem. For C, the two L's must always be apart so in this type of problem and any other type of problems we know that the number of ways of arranging the letters of the word bell without any restriction is 12 ways out of these 12 there are six of these such that the two l's must always be together and if the two l's are not together it means the two l's are apart so that the number of ways of arranging the letters of the word bells so that the two L's must always be apart will be the result we obtain from A minus the result we obtain from B. So we now have 12 minus 6 and that gives 6 ways of arranging the letters of the word bell such that the two L's must always be apart and that's the end of solution to this problem and this is the highest we are taking in this tutorial thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it until we come your way again goodbye